Magic Roundabout. So, here's a Magic Roundabout. And what makes a Magic Roundabout? Really, it's a bunch of roundabouts, daisy chained together. So, uh, as you can see, we got a roundabout here, and we got a roundabout here, and we got a roundabout here, and they're all linked together. They're daisy chained together, effectively. The clever bit is these two railroads roads that connect these mini roundabouts effectively make a, a roundabout going around the outside and also an inner roundabout which goes the other way in the opposite direction. I've seen a lot of people struggle with magic roundabouts, but in fact they're incredibly easy when you realize what they really are. They're just literally as is, is, is uncomplicated as a bunch of roundabouts uh, linked together by two-way roads. I mean, there's all sorts of different ways of doing it. I mean, strictly speaking, these, these, these six lane roads are obviously their access roads really these middle, middle bits you probably should be something more like this all right because these are highways the, the interchange test, test map so it's got an insane amount of traffic basically i don't know if you've seen this map before some of the youtubers have used it uh yumble and biffer have both used used this to test interchanges and the quaint thing about it is you get basically eight highways coming in and if you clip the connections between them and make them into loops and of course you get your traffic manager and you you toggle automatic despawning so that no the cars won't despawn just because they get stuck so they'll just keep on piling in and you can see actually whoa this magic roundabout is really handling crazy amounts of traffic and um it's doing pretty well in fact i'm not sure why this is a three lane this isn't really a three lane Let's change this to a two lane. I would say that's just fine as is. Seems to be doing okay. It's handling the traffic anyway. We'll leave it running for a little bit. But anyway, there are higher capacity versions. And when you understand this essential principle of the magic roundabout, that it is literally just a bunch of mini roundabouts, daisy chained together, then you can just keep adding adding roundabouts if you want. You could make this, this is a four way magic round, but you could have five, you could have six, you could have seven, you could have eight, and you really should, because I would say roundabouts in general are good if they're only three way. A lot of people use them four way, I would say that three way is probably the better way to do it. And I'll explain this in another video, and, I, and there's, there'll be a link at the end to, to the other video, but which kind of goes into it. But the reason why three way roundabouts work better than four way is, is because of the conflicts, which are inherent to roundabouts. With a with a four way, every time someone comes on, they 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 have to give away, right? Because some people want to keep going around. That's just how it is. Some people want to go around, and that creates these conflicts. It's much more for for a four way roundabout than it is for a three way. It's quite like normal junctions actually, because a T junction is just order of some orders of magnitude more simple than a four way junction just from the point of view of conflicts. And it's the same with roundabouts. Each one of these is a three way roundabout. And if you daisy chain them together, you can get four, five, six, seven, unlimited amounts without conflicts because of the magic of the contraflow, the inner contraflow roundabout. If you can see, this is American style like lanes where, where people drive on the right. A normal roundabout in, in America, if they even use them, would go around, 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 around uh, like this. But the contraflow, actually goes the, in the opposite direction. This inner roundabout goes in the opposite direction. This one looks like it's beginning to jam up. So what we can do is that we're gonna try a different version, which is a bit more bigger. I'm gonna use the move it tool to do a bit of a massive bulldoze. We can upgrade it by using larger highways. So there you have a roundabout, which is a bit more heavy duty. This is going to be a single link in our daisy chain or a much heavy duty kind of roundabout, heavy magic roundabout. There we go. So I've cloned it and I can just sort of bodge them together. I'm not being super neat and tidy, okay? Cause this is just to demonstrate magic roundabouts. We can basically link as what we like together. Um, right, so obviously I'm gonna have to delete some things. I should have made more room really, but here we go. And so we're just gonna plumb them all together. This is five roundabouts, sort of like, well, I say five, it's technically seven because there's five little ones, big one going around the outside and one contraflow in the inside. So that's seven all together. So this is like the Swin the famous Swindon Magic Roundabout. We're just gonna plumb it in and see how it copes. Rough and ready that it is. Right, so we're just plumbing this in now roughly. Obviously this is not meant to be tidy, this is just a test map. So it's not like anyone's gonna be 
actually looking at living living here and wondering what kind of demented demon monkey put together this layout it's gonna be just us on the internet so we're all plumbed in now i think that's fine so let's see how this magic roundabout this is a much bigger much more high capacity roundabout than, than we saw before and let's just see how it goes and so far so good so what makes it sort of magic is that with each uh, each of these being just three ways that simplifies a lot of the conflicts and daisy chaining together creates this strange thing where you've got a counterflow roundabout in the middle effectively and this counterflow roundabout allows you to do a roundabout which is actually be somewhat directional see if this was just a normal roundabout and you wanted to go to this left you would have to go all the way around right you have to do that all the way around but with the counterflow roundabout in the middle you can actually just go like this and that's a lot shorter so it's reduced conflicts and also directionality and so far this is doing pretty well actually this is the simplest way to do a a magic roundabout you don't even need mods to do this and uh, you could you could make it more compact by making these ones smaller and making these these linking roads make them shorter you can totally make it more compact and of course because each one of these things each one of these mini roundabouts is a element in itself a discrete element you can daisy chain as many as you, as you like so you can fact join much more than five roads you could do all eight in fact we might even do that just if there is time permitting we could link all of them but look out it's going really really pretty well so this is this is five highways highways mind all joined together in the center this is the only way for people to go through they all have to come through this area all for, for all five highways and it's actually behaving incredibly well and i haven't even like used traffic manager to play with the lanes and things like that that's all pretty awesome actually and that means this would work incredibly well unmodded this is an unmodded magic roundabout uh, here's a fun thought you could use this space by having one of the links point inwards or even two you could have two links going inside maybe you can effectively have unlimited roundabouts linked this way all right so this actually does seem to be handling the traffic completely fine what can we do? What can we do to push the boundaries? Well, well, we've still got three highways which are not connected. So in fact, what we could do is we could add some more, couldn't we? Let's pause it and we're going to delete this lower half. We are going to clone one of these like that. So we're going to try eight ways. We're going to try an eight way magic roundabout. OK, here we go. So we want one like here, something like that. Another one here. So yeah, it's all coming together. Oh, I don't know. This is probably a rival for the old super roundabout I did in another video. You can check that video out at the end of this this video. Put a link and all that. I know this is messy. Oh, don't don't cry about how messy it is. Bloody hell! I just want to get it done right for the test, the great test. And you can are free to make it your own versions, so much neater and nicer. So we're upgrading these roads to highways and of course it should be highways especially if you're not playing with mods so there's a, an eight-way magic roundabout let's just check the directions so the outer ring should go all ah look those are wrong that should be like that that should be like that i've done them as two-way roads somehow i'm gonna have to fix that so i believe all eight highways but yeah it looks okay accepting the fact they're not using the inner roundabout so far which indicates there might be a problem somewhere yes i can see a problem this is pointing the wrong way the inner ones should all be going the right way and now they are i think so yes now you can see that it's starting to use the inner roundabout and we are getting a little bit of traffic here but it is still moving 
So, yes, I'm going to say that's kind of working okay. It's probably at least as good as my super round bout that I did in this other video, which I'll link to at the end of this video. But all it is, it's a bunch of mini roundabouts daisy chained together with two way roads, which could be dual carriageways, like with highways, like these heavy capacity highways. But if you don't use high, heavy capacity highways, you could just use the two way highways. You could link them, that's not two way. There's a two way. So you could just link them with two way highways and so on so forth. So maybe you could do something like this. You want to keep it compact get your um, one-way road but you could maybe just do that right and then and then like that and then you've got your three nodes there look so then you get your two-way highway and you can make it really short just really 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 sh really short before you go straight into the next roundabout I think that is completely viable. And upgrade these to highways. Not two way highways, mind, but one way highways. And as with many roundabouts, actually, they could be just single lanes. I think that will work just fine. Yeah. So, there you go. That's. that's the elements, the essential element. It's just a mini roundabout, daisy chained together into a big, big roundy, 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 roundy bout. Simples. It's really nice that it's so scalable that that you can. That's. I think that's the real virtue with magic roundabouts. Is you can basically link link together unlimited amounts of roads together, and you can even have them inside out. I'm pretty sure there'd be no problem with just making this an inside inside one. You could go into this area, uh, make this into a, an access road, the, uh, an inner populated area, it doesn't have to go outside, and also go inside and connect up an area like this, right? So you could have actual zoned areas inside. So we delete these, I would say you shouldn't have these as four way roundabouts. So if you wanted to have an inner one, you'd have to have the roundabout point inwards. Something like, that right and then you could put your what what we're gonna do we're gonna put something like that so they can all come in here i mean there's oh we're getting some houses maybe i should put some water and electricity and see how that does there we go so now we get a little bit of traffic and it's coming in side to this this zoned area isn't that fun? So eight highways. Well, okay, seven now, because I've cut that one off. Being served by this magic roundabout and an actual populated area inside the loop, the inner loop, the inner sanctum. Oh, isn't it lovely? I would say this is the this is just beauteous. Beauteousness. So there you go. So magic roundabouts, easy the easy way, the best way, using um, no mods really. I mean, you don't have to use mods. So, uh, oh, we got a tornado, which is traumatizing a lot of people as they go along. But that's fine because this is just a test map and we don't care, do we? It's done its job. It has done its job. So check out these videos I'm pointing to. Could be here, could be there. I'm not sure. Have a look. I hope it all works out for you. Bye! Wish you 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 wish you